You know, I had to laugh a little bit when you talked about uh, the testimony by Robert Mueller, because I think testimony has to be put in quotes. Mm -hmm. It really hasn't been much testimony. Uh, frankly, I think you've all, both been very kind. I think this has been a disaster for the Democrats, and I think it's been a disaster for the reputation of Robert Mueller. Um, he has seemed very uncertain with his brief. Uh, he doesn't know, seem to know, what are, things that are in the report. He's been attacked a number of times, and you would think that almost anybody else would have defended his own integrity and the integrity of the investigation, and over and over Mueller just sits silent and allows uh, the attacks from the Republicans to sweep over him and says nothing. Uh, I think it does raise questions about the degree to which he actually was in charge of and control of this report, because he doesn't seem very much in control or charge of what the final report was. I should say whether he was in charge of the investigation, because he doesn't seem in charge of what the report actually says. I, the, the two strongest parts. I think were the opening questions by by the chairman, Jerry Nadler, who basically said, you know, the president says he was exonerated. Was he? No. Uh, did you find that he committed no obstruction? No. Did you, basically taking the negative and saying, the president says he was cleared. Was he cleared? And says, no. And I agree with you that the strongest, Martha, by far was John Ratcliffe, a Republican congressman on the committee, who basically said, your, your big grand conclusion when it comes to obstruction is you can't exonerate him. When did that become a legal principle that a prosecutor can't exonerate anybody? You're innocent until proven guilty. So you either prove him guilty or you shut up. And you're making a point about He's I didn't the exonerate president him. He's not above the law, but he's not below the exactly. law either.